Hampton Farm here. Yeah, we're rolling in the 604 this morning. Uh, I got a trailer and we are going to Elsid, Usid, Ohio. I don't know how you pronounce that, but uh, yeah, so I uh, I bid on a shaper. It's a G&E 20 inch uh, shaper and um, didn't realize it was as far. I thought I looked at the auction and it said it was in Columbus, Ohio, which is only about three hours from me. Uh, turns out it's in, yeah, like I said, Elsid or Usid there, turn right on which is like five and a half hours from me. So yeah, I wasn't planning on going that far until I you know, noticed this morning that the uh, pickup address was not what I thought it was. Anyway, my my, uh, my fault there, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's a pretty decent looking G&E uh, 20 inch shaper, so. Should be a good addition to the shop here. Let's take you guys along for the ride. Oh man, I'd like to have that shear over there. That's probably like a 20 foot shear. I don't know how big it is, but it's huge. Anyway, I gotta go in and get my get my paperwork taken care of here. <laughs> They got all kinds of neat stuff here. They got that 30 ton bridge crane over there. They got, just while I was loading that up, they, uh, you know, unloaded all manner of neat industrial crap. I, uh, if it wasn't gonna be late by the time I'd get home, I would just spend the day looking around in there and taking you around, but I gotta get on the road. All right, guys, that was pretty funny. There was, uh, as I was loading that up there, this real scruffy looking guy came over and he's like, hey, is that an 18? What, how big is that? And uh, I was asking, you know, about the shaper there. And uh, anyway, yeah, I was an avid, uh, you know, A-bomb viewer. All right, guys, so made it home yesterday night about midnight. It was just shy of 800 miles round trip, but uh, yeah, got the shaper here. I'm pretty excited, so. Get a decent look at it here. It's a G&E 20 inch industrial. And uh, just while I was on the way out there, the uh, guy who's buying my radial drill messaged me saying, hey, a buddy of mine's got a Kearney Tracker number two. It's in pretty good shape that he wants to get rid of. He's like, well, I just bought this thing. How much does he want for it? And when he told me the price, I was like, okay, as soon as I get home, I'm going to buy it. So we're going to go pick up another machine tool today.
All right, well, it's a bit ugly at the moment. I uh, started taking the air compressor and blowing the dust off, and it took most of the paint with it. So I guess this guy, assuming everything functions okay, is going to get a new coat of paint. Yeah, so there it is, 20-inch G&E. Seems like everything works. This is the only guy here that seems like... Uh, oh, you push in. I'm an idiot. I was dicking with this earlier, and I didn't realize you push in. Okay, so all the levers seem to work. Like I said, the only thing... It has a 480-volt sticker on it there, and I'm hoping that I can... Just change the taps on that motor and run it off 220. A uh, little bit of, I mean, not real. I mean, there's wear on the ram here, but it's not like real heavy scoring or anything. I don't see any place on the vise where they've crashed it. So, hopefully, everything looks good. We'll just drag it in. See if we can re uh, rewire it here. This... Hose looks like it needs to be replaced. That's definitely seen better days, but we'll uh, take a look at it here shortly. This is the open top ram. You can see down in there. We'll pop the side plate off here shortly and take a look at it. The only thing I definitely have to fix is it looks like somebody's crunched it. So fix that guy, but 